is influencing in the wild. Oh, it's dead. I am not paranoid. Uh, ma, 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 ma. Blah, blah, wah, wah. Jesus Christ. Y'all ready? But crack. Yo, okay, good morning. I am here. I'm gonna get a silk press. I booked this weeks ago. Honest to God, today's a rainy day. I don't even know why I'm here, except for the fact that I don't want to cancel on a small business because she needs her money. So I'm like, I'll just get the silk press. I'll get whatever content I can get, and it's just gonna be what it's gonna be. I didn't want to cancel. Like I said, I booked this weeks ago. It's gonna rain today. So I'm like, hi, what do you mean rain? Like, why Why are we raining? But I'm going to do the half, well, no. I'm going to do the top bun and bang look again. Oh, you haven't seen the video yet. <laughs> You'll see the video soon. Oh, maybe, maybe by the time, oh, look at this lighting. Maybe by the time I post this vlog, you will have already seen that. So yeah, I'm going to do the top, the top knot situation again. So this should be worth it, at least for that. But I don't know how much content I'll be able to get because of the oops, because of the Houston humidity, obviously, right? Ooh, this lighting is not good in here. But yeah, I am looking so slim. so sleepy I was falling asleep in the chair honey so we are done and it's actually really good to come remember I was saying I don't really need to be here today I'm glad I did come because she did do a trim maintenance so even though I'm natural every what did she say six to eight weeks it's good to do the trim maintenance because it'll prevent the split ends from going higher getting worse so she did do a little she said it was really minor, so I'm sure it was teeny. So she did do that, which is good. To maintain it, not let things get any worse. So here we go. I'm about to go home. I'm so drowsy. Oh, let's see what content I can get with this hair before. Oh, good. Well, there's no rain right now. Hopefully the weather behaves because I don't want to deal with this. All right, I'm back home now. I'm about to have my therapy session. Oh, my God. Yeah, so back home now. Here are my curls. I asked her to leave it in because, you know, I'm going to style it later on. No need to disrupt the curls just yet. I'm about to have therapy at 2 o'clock. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to break down these boxes because I have so many that I need to break down, obviously. And I've got a campaign. Have you heard of Menage Trois? Menage Trois, you know? <laughs> with the wine brand, praise his name. Got a campaign with them, so stay tuned for that. I love me some wine, you know that. So that's going to be really delicious. Going to pop that open, enjoy, and film all the things. This morning before I went to the hair salon, I filmed another campaign. It was a shower routine type campaign. So I had the camera and the tripod in the bathroom, the bathroom door open. It was a whole thing. I used to feel like, oh my gosh, if I wanted to film something like that, I would need a second hand. And although a second hand would be helpful, I made it work. Okay. So when I sit down to edit, I'm sure it'll look bomb. So I've got, this is my third time doing a shower video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, third time doing a shower video. So I'm getting the handle on how to make it, how to do it right and all that. Okay, so let me log in and have my therapy appointment. If you're new here, I've been going to therapy for two years now. It is so worth it. I use BetterHelp. I pay each month. It's fantastic. There is financial aid available if you want it. I would love for them to sponsor me. But like I said, I pay for myself. And it's really great. It's really, really great. It's, it's convenient. 
it's convenient. It's just like, what? So this today's session, and for a while now, they've been voice sessions. So I just put my earpiece in and I can be walking around doing, I almost went on, I can be walking around doing what I need to do. So I'm about to do that and open up these boxes. First of all, this outfit is Shein. I'll post, I'll link it if I can find a link, right? It's a two piece. Let me just show you because I know y'all gonna have questions. It's real big on me because your girl been losing weight or whatever. And it ties, it's a two piece. It looks like a dress, but it's not, it's pants. So I'm checking my email and I'm working and oh my God. So shout out to all the people, all of my audience members, my friends, my girls, my ladies, all of you who have been here for a while or even for a short period of time and you are just so thoughtful and giving to me. I don't take it for granted because you don't have to. You don't have to, but you do anyway. So I am opening up a gift card from one of you and it's just the sweetest thing in the whole entire world. You don't have to spend your money on me, but but you do and it's like amazing so i'm just so grateful and i'm opening it up right now happy mother's day midnight you are a blessing to me each day enjoy your day my love <sighs> so sweet hyacinth i really appreciate it because girl you didn't have to and believe me i'm not gonna save this gift card i'm using it right now because i keep my sephora cart ready my Sephora card stay ready and my wish list stay ready too you feel what i'm saying so i already had three things in here i took two out i'm about to get this fragrance you know from one of my why is this color like this this color it shouldn't be so yellow oh hold on okay that's better i had it on video now i have it on auto so it auto corrects all the yellow so i what was i saying i don't know i'm getting kaali utopia vanilla cocoa Ooh, so good getting that right now and i at my gift card i'm so happy i really appreciate it i just man you know with this business that i do that many of us do it's just so nice to make connections beyond the business of it all so i really appreciate it and speaking of connections i have fallen off what do i pay i have fallen off of how do i put this gift card in like what my text community listen i oh dear god i have fallen off of it i know i have and i have not forgotten i just have not been there in a while you know i also want to do ig lives again i mean i wasn't regular at it anyway but i want to be regular at it so a lot of things on my list that i'm trying to balance but but not but with that said i just wanted to share that because i feel like that is so sweet and not required but so much appreciated why is my t what do i have two wait why do i have why is it not taking this money <laughs>
just actually just ate for the first time today and then I inhaled these low carb chips so I logged on late I was trying to eat I'll be eating late sometimes like today hi how are you yo so update I do have the machine to clean my couch but I haven't done it it's almost a year I don't feel like it so I hired a company to come and clean the couch I'll do touch-ups but I just don't feel like it so they're actually here right now it's not filthy it doesn't look dirty right when you're looking at it but when you're close to it I see a lot of areas that need to be cleaned so here they are and I have my donation Myanmar outside because the donation company is going to come get a whole bunch of stuff I'm purging cleaning you know how that goes I can't stand clutter it's the time I need to print out something because I have to do some work too while they are doing that come baby you me is he trained yeah uh, uh. you said he's trained come mm. kind of he's still a baby yeah, he knows where to pee. Baby. i'm still trying to teach him not to nibble yes Something. Yo, yeah, that's what was right. That dress is mad short. Ah, please. I'm begging you. Ah. What are you talking about? Ask us me. <laughs> we just left Kiss Houston. Ask us me. Ah. No other option. Other option, saying. What other option? Yo, your dress is mad. We need what? Dress. Okay, so O2 Lounge pops okay, off around this time. It's midnight. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> you need to close your mouth, madam. Please, no yawning. <laughs> Ready. Ah, you ready? I'm ready? Yeah, yeah, sure. Are you sure? Look <laughs> <laughs> you do. Oh, you yeah. you should change your. Madam, please change your shoes. Madam, please change your shoes. <laughs> the shoes, the shoes hurt. They hurt. Oh, look, it's actually it's okay today. Okay, good. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah. Now it's not the time for this shit to be acting up. We gotta be acting up today. You have to be outside. Be outside, please, okay? Hi. Now we're going to O2. Hey, who on there testing me at this time? Also, we, like, we outside. Oh, 2022, okay. <laughs> we out here. <laughs> So I am so annoyed because I used the foundation today, which is the Morphe Flawless Filter, I think it's 35, and it matches my skin perfectly. Well, once I finish my whole entire face, my face looks entirely too light for my body. That is why I go with a foundation that is darker than my skin tone, so that once I do the whole entire face, I don't look discolored. I don't look like I'm light and dark. And now I am giving light and dark, and I'm annoyed. But my face is already done. I already filmed three videos, so here we are. Now, I actually... 
I have three videos, but then I filmed another video on Friday night when I went out, which you'll see at some point. Okay, and for that reason, <clears throat> in one weekend, I have recorded, oh, this is my straight, this is the curly wig that the curls fell from Friday. You'll see a Get Ready With Me video. I did the curls, they fell, so now it's waves, okay? And I showed you the, how I curled it in that video. So, yeah, in the span of one weekend, I now have four videos done. I'm proud of myself. And it didn't take a lot out of me to film the four videos. One video was really a two-in-one that I separated. So it was one sit down getting ready where I did a video showing you an eyelash tutorial and showing you an eyeliner tutorial. <clears throat> so you'll see that at some point, which is fantastic because now I'm two weeks out in terms of videos that are completed and ready to be edited. That is, and it's Sunday. So the week hasn't even begun yet, unless you consider Sunday the beginning of the week, whatever. That's fantastic. So, you know, I like to be ahead. I have videos that I recorded in March that I still need to, no, yeah, <laughs> that I still need to post. Okay, but, and, and they're still relevant, so it's fine. Or it was, no, I'm sorry, not March, not March, not March, April? Whatever, April and May, because I, I, I film ahead. I don't film now for tomorrow. No, 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 no. The days of doing that are over. If anyone is successful at YouTube and doing that, you must be a demon, <laughs> because I don't know how you do it. There's no way to do it and be happy, to do it and be comfortable because to me if you're doing that you got to be stressed a little bit and i don't like to be stressed so i like to prepare ahead of time i have four videos that i need to complete thumbnails for and i have sort of the captions for so i need to just put finishing touches on it and schedule them and then i have two videos that i need to review because they're already edited and then i have these four videos that i just did this weekend so i'm months out i am months out and to me that is a comfortable place to be versus filming something today for tomorrow no 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 i don't like to function that way no 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 if you watch my video on on youtuber secrets i'm not gonna tell you to film the week of i'm not gonna tell you to do that no it wouldn't be smart you know if again if there are people who are successful in doing that they're either from another world <laughs> Or I don't know. Like this, just I don't see how you could be consistent doing that. Like anyway, that's just my take on that. So now I'm clearing off my memory card, and I I put the folders. So I bring the SD card to my desktop, which has the most external drives. I have three of them attached to this, so it has the most amount of space. And then I transfer the files. I put them in folders. And then I put the folders onto my hard. I have one of the hard drives that is just for footage. And then I have one that is for all the cache. If you know cache, if you just know, you know, all the rendered and cache files and you know, whatever. So I put it all onto one of the memory card, one of the external drives. And then I transfer so into a folder so that my editor can access it and then edit. And then I archive it so that it's out of my way and I can not think that I still need to send this to her. Just like all the things. And what is this new vlog footage? Oh. Somehow I have vlog footage on my desktop that is, but I already moved it to my, I can delete this. I never wanna have duplicates because then I get confused thinking I need to do more than I need to do. Cause you know, normally I edit my vlogs on my desktop, but I started editing on my macbook air because i was editing while i was in new york and i learned that there is a benefit to having my vlogs on the macbook so that if i'm somewhere or i'm in the bedroom i can still edit i don't have to be forced to come and sit right here because some weeks the sitting right here doesn't work and then i find myself rushing to edit the vlog because i wasn't sitting right here enough see so now five nine five seven i didn't i oh that's in downloads okay because you know when you transfer something to a computer macbook whatever you will have your items in the download folder and then i of course move it to my external drive but if you don't delete 
the clips from your downloads folder, you will run into a problem where your computer is to, well, it'll say storage to full something, something, You need to go through and delete the footage that you transferred over, delete it from the downloads folder to free up space on your, my nose is running, to free up space on your computer. So 5957-5958 is where I started here. 5957. So I just like to make sure that it did make its way over here before I delete. Granted, I do have a software and I've talked about this before. Yeah, I got it all here. I do have a software where I can recuperate. I can get stuff out of the trash if I have deleted, deleted it. It just takes time. I don't feel like having to even go through that hassle. My nose is running. I have an active cold. I don't feel like having to deal with that. So I just want to double check and make sure that I am not deleting something that I need. <clears throat> so good. Everything is here. So I just deleted, deleted it off of here. And then of course, once something is in the trash, you do need to go to the trash and empty the trash because even if you have deleted it and if it's still in the trash, it will still take up space on your computer. Not only that, I've showed you in the past before. Now, okay, so now I'm gonna go to my downloads and delete all hundred clips that are on here because although these are clips, you know, when I do my vlogs, it's short clips of what I'm doing and then I put all the clips together. There's so many of them, it adds up and it will certainly take up space on the computer because the downloads folder is on the computer. It's not on my external drive. And remember from my YouTuber secrets video, I am editing from my external drive. So you have to always keep the computer as free as possible, as free from stuff as possible, okay? So it is that and good. So we have the vlog footage on the Lacey external hard drive. I'll link the hard drive below that I'm referring to. It's connected to my laptop. I have different ones for the desktop. I talked about that in the video. And what was I just doing? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and something else too. In the cache, when I, I should just show you this, excuse me. I have to always check that when I am moving on to a different project because <clears throat> the cache is like backups or something like that, girl, I don't know, okay? I just know that it be holding on to stuff. So I come here to show package contents and I know that in the week, oh, but the thing about it is I was supposed to do this before I began my new vlog because what I do is I come here and I delete render files. Well, because this will hold down, this will hold me up. This might end up getting full and it'll be annoying and blah, 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 blah. I was supposed to do this before I began my new vlog because now when I delete render files, it's going to delete all of the render files, even for the one I'm editing right now. However, I've only gotten four minutes in. It is what it is. I'm going to delete nonetheless because it might come a time where not where keeping the render files there could give my computer make my computer move slowly because it'll it'll bog down the the hard drive and girl i'm not a techie i just know what i'm doing and i know what i'm doing makes sense okay praise his name so deleting the render files is important when you have finished a project you want to delete it and look at that 2000 items deleted it's like these little clips of things i don't know how to explain it it makes a difference and it has to go so now that is deleted and then i know that the current project that i'm working on the current vlog will need to render again i think rendering just means it creates a backup girl i don't know i know that it will need to render again which i'm okay with i'm not gonna touch the vlog right now so it can take its time to render and be annoying it's annoying to try to edit while the footage is rendering because then it slows you down this is all final cut pro talk if you know you know if you understand you do understand it might sound like gibberish to you but if you understand and you edit in videos you understand even with an editor i like to keep my hands and stuff and with keeping my hands and stuff i need to know what i'm doing you see what i'm saying let me get this lunch scheduled with my girlfriend because I haven't seen her in so long. Are you free this Friday? You know, when you're old, 
excuse me to the back when you're grown when you're grown you use a calendar you're like look at my calendar and see what's going on i am loving just having this hair hanging off of me this way i have to be honest it's like really sexy are you free this all right so after i bring you need to school I, f I put on my headband wig and a hat and i got this shirt yesterday from target long sleeve workout type shirt whatever because i'm gonna go for a walk and so i'm all dressed right now and i'm getting my gear because you know we have to protect ourselves outside outside ladies so i have my halt spray this is for dogs pepper spray doesn't work for dogs this one does apparently this is what postal folk people use and then i have this you put it on your hand and once this comes out once this comes out of this it makes an obnoxiously loud sound so this is good in case someone grabs something out of your hand. It just makes a very, very piercing, loud sound. And then this is my taser. I haven't used it in a while. It is chargeable, so I'm actually going to charge it right now. Where's the... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Right here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to charge it right now a little bit, but let me test it out. This thing is so loud. Oh, my God. All right, you turn it on this way. Oh, it's dead. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna charge it right now. Alright, I am now here at the park and I still have a cold. It's getting it's really annoying. It's bothering me. But life goes on and I'm leaving my water in the car because I don't want to be carrying the water with me and I'll just deal when I get back and drink the water at that time. I have a tissue in case I need to blow my nose and I have all my stuff. I'm not leaving anything in my car to tempt any fools. <laughs> and now here we are. I did charge my taser. It is charged, let me show you because I actually plan on putting this camera away and then holding the taser in my hand because if anyone tries to sneak up on a kid, you're going to be remiss, you know? I do have my the dog spray that I showed you because if a dog's trying to attack me, pepper spray ain't going to get the job done. You feel what I'm saying? I just pray to God nothing happens, but I like to be prepared. Like, people's fences are all broken down, so if your dog just escapes from your fence, then now it's at my expense. Ooh, that rhymed. That was kind of intense. Ooh, that's the lyrical geniosity this morning, this early morning, praise Jehovah. So, wow, it's a very sunny and lovely day. I already feel hot. What the heck? Oh, let me turn on my eye watch. Hold on. Okay, just turned on my iWatch. What the heck? I don't be using my iWatch very often these days, but I do want to collect some data. What the heck? If I'm out here, I want to get the data while I can. So, oh, yeah. So, back to the taser. Okay, let's take it out. And let me show it to you. It's a little dangerous. I mean, it is a taser, for God's sake. <laughs> you know, so it's meant to be a little threatening. And it's pink so that I don't miss so I don't confuse it in my bag you know all this black 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 is too much you need to be able to see since now there's a dog going by so I'm not gonna do it now I don't want to startle the doggy it's a dog in him and his or her owner of course not a stray it's a big dog though so oh, my nose is running already annoying okay so let me show you the taser and today Nene was asking me about a taser, why I have one and all this, and I felt so bad. I'm like, I don't want to worry him about the world, but the world is the world. So, we, you know, as the kids get older, they're going to have to realize that the world is a dangerous place. But God is with us, of course. But it's still a dangerous place, and we still need to protect ourselves. Look at me, I'm already paranoid. I'm not paranoid, I'm hypervigilant. That's the difference. I am not paranoid, I am hypervigilant. Okay, here's the taser. I charged it earlier, as I said. So you slide it up. And then you, Jesus Christ. Okay, that was so close to my right ear that it like hurt my ear. Okay, so as you see, it works, okay? <laughs> So 
I just finished my makeup and I threw back on my wig, my usual situation, and I took some of my Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine product. The one I used when I made this wig bone straight because it's a little frizzy and I don't want that, but the waves are just sitting and I'm actually gonna buy another one of this same wig <clears throat> and then put highlights in it. I wanna keep this the natural brown color, but then have another version of it that's lighter because I don't always wanna wear light hair. You know? Let me recap the laser hair treatment before I forget. So, as you may have saw, she started with my face. The face was so freaking painful, okay? So freaking painful. I just did my chin and my upper lip. And then she did my armpits, which were okay. The inside, the middle of the armpit was more painful. But you see, my pain tolerance is high. So, to me, it all depends on what your level of pain tolerance is. Then she did my arms. That was okay. It feels like a tickle. Then I, I did full body. Then she did my legs, the front, and it was okay, it felt like a tickle. But you know, it still feels like a rubber band flicking you and it smells because it's the hair burning, the hair inside the skin burning. So there's a smell, the, and, and you know, you smell, like, you smell like something is burning. And then when she did my vagina, wow, because I did full body, okay. Wowzers. I thought that the pain was coming from my C-section incision. Absolutely not. It was painful all over. She got an ice pack and a stress ball for me to squeeze. So that was helpful. But wowzers. The good thing is that it goes really fast. So the, the sting, 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 sting is quick. And then it does dissipate after some time. But it's like wowzers, you know. And I had just showered and shaved and lotion when I went there. You do have to wipe your skin off to get lotions off. I didn't put deodorant on. I, I at least figured I didn't need to have deodorant on, but I didn't know you had to have dry skin. But I'm glad I lotion because I'm not going to be walking around with dry skin. And then she did the butt crack and it was like wowzers. Again, it's really fast, so that's helpful, but it still feels like sting, 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 sting. Okay, I cannot get over that. But again, my tolerance for pain is high. I'll share the, the company I'm using once it's all said and done. I paid for it myself and I'm excited to see what's gonna happen she said that in four days I should what what she say in four days I should exfoliate and shave or shave and exfoliate so don't shave and within the four days don't exfoliate within the four days and she said that with the laser it'll push the hair out of the follicle so it'll look like my hair grew but not if that's not what it is it's gonna push the hair out and that's what I'm going to shave and then I can exfoliate she also said I could do a chemical peel on my vagina to lighten it up I was like wait what not gonna do any of those things right now I do my own exfoliation at home but I didn't even know that that was even I mean it makes sense but I hadn't ever heard of that as a possibility so there was that she didn't go down my chin because I don't have thick hairs that grow there. She just stayed here. She said that if she did go down the chin, it might stimulate the thicker hair growth. So she didn't do that. She just stuck to here. And then she also said that if I decided to add other areas, I did below my belly button. If I decided to add other areas when I came back, I could do that. Because she's like, do you want to do your back and your stomach and your, your butt? I'm like, no, those are that's just Vela's hair. I wasn't even thinking about that but apparently i could add like i could literally do my whole body but no so upper lip chin armpit arms legs brazilian that's every single thing front to back and i am glad i did it i have a headache from from just holding my body so tight 
when she was doing certain areas, namely the Brazilian. But other than that, oh, it was so worth it, girl. It is so worth it. So in six weeks, I'll be back to do my session. Number two, I have six sessions and I paid $9.50. <laughs> Planes to take the exit to merge onto I-610 South. You got my attention, now what you gonna do? On my way right now to River Oaks because I'm meeting beautifully Cindy for the first time. I met her online, you know how we do. And she just seems like the sweetest. So we're finally meeting up today. We were supposed to meet up last week and I had to get my car, whatever. So here we are now, we're going to Le Colonial which I would expect to be a French place, but it's actually a Vietnamese place. There you have it. Wait, am I going left? No, I'm going straight. So yeah, I'm almost there. I got here early. My GPS was telling me, anyway, whatever. I got here earlier than I expected, which is nice. I don't want to be late. That's annoying, being late. Boop. Being late is annoying. Now with keto, the last time I looked at this menu, because I wanted to come here one time before. I didn't see many options. At the light, use the left lane to turn onto Westheimer Road. I didn't see many options for keto, so we're going to have to find out. If not, you know, I'll just have me some beverages and call it a night. Keto beverages, keto beverages, because the way the waist is sitting these days, like, listen, I don't have time to play games. The food is good, but it's not worth it. That's how I, that is how I deal with food food is good but it's not worth it is it worth me feeling humongous is it worth me looking big in my clothes to me people might think oh you didn't even need it it's not about need it's about what i wanted what i want is to be 20 pounds lighter because i want to look the way i want to look so i and i don't you know oh i meant to talk to you about this i don't even know how many pounds i've lost because i don't weigh myself the scale why I'm thick. The scale ain't never going to say what I wanted to say. So when I say 20 pounds, let me clarify. I really am talking about how I'm going to look. I'll know what I want to look like. Let me just give it by sizes. Right now I'm a 12, 14 perhaps. I would love to be a 7, 8. You know, I'd love to go down 8. Is that 9, 10? Wait. It's 7, 8. It's 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. <laughs> three sizes. Yeah, I don't mind going down three sizes. Maybe two. Okay, but we because we all know that weight is different. I have a lot of muscle blah blah. Anyway, it doesn't matter All I'm saying is I know how I want to look You know and I know what, what I weigh and if I told y'all what I weigh you would not believe me That's just how my body is composed, you know So anyway, I look forward to going here. Obviously keto discipline is important. It's summertime summer summer summertime And even if it wasn't summertime, I don't want to be heavy in the wintertime either Heavy to me. Don't be triggered, please. Praise the Lord. This is for me. This is what I want, okay? Everyone should do whatever they, their heart desire. Because one thing about me, I'm always going to do what my heart desire. You know. Whew, I have on Lancome La Vie et Belle Soleil Cristal today. I did a Get Ready With Me reel that I will edit later. It is so fragrant. One of the last times that I was here dining at River Oaks, I had this fragrance on and a woman stopped me. It was phenomenal. I was so shocked. She loved it so much. So now when I think of River Oaks, I think of that actual fragrance. I'm going to link everything below. This is an Amazon two-piece too. I'll link it. It just makes me think of that fragrance. Oh, in Key, Australia. <laughs> it's just so good so I really drenched myself today and I can't lie I wonder if anybody will stop me today I mean obviously it's that good right lip is the lip bar savage inside is Maybelline poet the gloss is something this gloss from Maybelline something something I actually brought it with me because I don't do gloss often so when I do that I do have to bring with me for touch-ups um, Am I going right? Okay, a matte lip, I don't ever touch up. But if I have a gloss on, that's going to require a touch up. If only you could see me now. If only you could tell me why. I have some ant friends out here today. You made me cry. So don't come back. Oh. You never took the time to say. Explain Like I don't 
Okay, y'all, I'm here at lunch with beautifully Cindy. Isn't she so gorgeous? I told her, <laughs> listen, gorgeous is, go gorgeous is unite. <laughs> I made that up. Listen, I told her her skin looks so yummy in real life, and that's important. Oh, we have our rosé. Thank you. Ladies, a couple moments to sip those cocktails. Let me run you through the menu. Yes, please. Right, you said you're on a low-carb diet? Yeah, and I was looking, and I don't know how I'm going to do that here today. <laughs> Maybe a salad and just some protein. Make it simple. Because I can't do anything sweet. Yeah, I can't do the sweet. I'm a girl. I love salad. Yeah. Usually, I just stick to the salad and the protein. Yeah, as long as the sauce is not, like, sugary and all that stuff. I'll get the sauce on the side for you. Okay. Yes, I can replace the this. Sometimes I'd be putting it right here. Listen, this is influencing in the wild, okay? <laughs> Listen, you be getting the shots. I'll tell you that. I'd be like, yo, how did she do all this? I'm going to watch and learn today. I love it. I'm not lying. I'd be like, did she get out of her car, put her camera on the ground, drive her car, get back out, get the camera? Like, <laughs> it's the dedication for me. <laughs>